Welcome back to another exciting tutorial. Today, we're diving into the world of lens flares in Photoshop. In the previous video, we learned how to achieve this stunning effect, and now it's time to learn adding some mesmerizing lens flares to our images. Before we begin, if you missed the previous video, don't worry. I've included a link to it in the description, or you can also click on the side button here so you can catch up. Now, let's get started. Our goal is to apply these beautiful lens flares to the image we have. You can find the link to this image in the description. To begin, we need a lens flare image to create a brush. You can find the link to this image in the description. You can either drag and drop the lens flare image onto your canvas and change its blending mode to screen, or I'll show you an even smarter and more effective method. First, desaturate the lens flare image by adding a black and white adjustment layer. After that, we need to invert the image. Simply go to Image Adjustments, Invert. Now, let me explain why we're inverting the image. When defining a brush, the main content should be in black, and the rest should be in white. The white areas will be considered transparent, while the black parts will define the brush shape. With the image prepared, let's define the brush. Go to Edit and select Define Brush Preset. Give your brush a name. And there you have it. Your custom lens flare brush is now ready to use. For more control and customization, it's best to apply the lens flare on a new empty layer. So, create a new empty layer and select the brush tool. Make sure your newly created lens flare brush is selected and adjust the brush size. Click once on the light source in your image to apply the lens flare effect. Oh, but wait, one small mistake. The foreground color will be our brush color. So, make sure your foreground color is white, or the lens flare will appear in that color. You can change the color depending on your preference, but for this image, I'll stick with white. Now, just click on the light source. Since we have selected the flare brush, Flares will be automatically applied. Adjust the brush size as needed. This is the before, and this is the after. Now, let's take a look at our reference image. Notice how the flares have different colors? Let's try adding some color to our flares. Apply the gradient map adjustment layer. and use a custom gradient of your choice. If you want to apply this same gradient, follow these color codes. To reverse the gradient, simply enable the reverse option. With the gradient map applied, select the flares layer, right click on the thumbnail and choose Select Pixels. This will create a selection around the flares. Then, select the Gradient Map Layer Mask and hit the Delete or Backspace key to remove the color from the selected area. Deselect the selection by going to Select Deselect. Then select the mask and press Ctrl plus I or Command plus I on Mac to invert it. Now, select the Gradient Map Layer, go to Blending Options, and change the blending mode to soft light. You can now see the amazing before and after transformation. This is the before, and this is the after. And this is the final result, before and after. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our upcoming tutorials. Happy creating.